By 2050, plastic in the oceans will outweigh fish predicts a report from the Ellen MacArthur Foundation. The report projects the oceans will contain at least 937 million tons of plastic and 895 million tons of fish by 2050. According to National Geographic, 73% of all beach litter is plastic and kills an estimated 1 million marine birds and 100,000 marine animals each year. Additionally, more than 90% of all birds and fish are believed to have plastic particles in their stomach. It's because plastic breaks up into tiny pieces in the sea, which are then consumed by fish and other sea animals. According to a report from The Guardian, an estimated 8.3 billion tons of plastic has been produced since the 1950s, that's equivalent to the weight of more than 800,000 Eiffel Towers. And only 9% of it has been recycled. Only 9%? Just think about that. Today, hydrogen is used mostly in oil refining and for the production of fertilizers. For it to make a significant contribution to clean energy transitions, it also needs to be adopted in sectors where it is almost completely absent at the moment, such as transport, buildings and power generation. Supplying hydrogen to industrial users is now a major business around the world. Demand for hydrogen, which has grown more than threefold since 1975, continues to rise, almost entirely supplied from fossil fuels, with 6% of global natural gas and 2% of global coal going to hydrogen production. As a consequence, production of hydrogen is responsible for CO2 emissions of around 830 million tons of carbon dioxide per year, equivalent to the CO2 emissions of the United Kingdom and Indonesia combined. Now what if we could deal with both these issues with one technology? Welcome to Powerhouse Energy. We have engineered a solution to responsibly and economically recover energy from the burgeoning waste management challenges that our partners and society are facing today. Our DMG technology is the pioneering process of recovering hydrogen from unrecyclable plastic. The majority of plastics do not get recycled for many reasons, they are too expensive to collect, clean, sort and separate, they have little recyclable value, or there simply aren't enough recycling plants. These unrecyclable and unrecycled plastics are wasted through being buried in the ground in landfill or are fed into an incineration plant, from which only minimal inherent energy is recovered. DMG is a new type of chemical recycling, a form of advanced conversion technology that takes these wasted plastics and recovers the maximum amount of energy through its innovative approach to waste management. The name DMG comes from distributed modular generation, which describes the nature of the technology that can be deployed at community level providing waste management and energy generation services for local use. The DMG process can also be used to recover energy from other highly calorific value waste streams such as end-of-life tires, which has been found to give excellent energy recovery results. The reality of global warming, polluting of the oceans, the need for industrial supply security and the rising demand for efficient second-use recovery are other key factors driving the waste to energy market. Reuse, reduce, and recycle are not adequate for our growing population. Efficient energy conversion and recovery must become a part of the equation. Powerhouse Energy is proud to be part of the solution, another British innovation, helping to solve some of our biggest environmental challenges while making a significant contribution to the world's need to solve the green premium, allowing significant generation of hydrogen to take place while electrolytic hydrogen is in its infancy. Powerhouse Energy is the sustainable hydrogen company. For more information, please visit us to find out more about this story.